At times, some of the most dangerous creatures on Earth lie just beneath the water's surface. Here are seven of the world's most terrifying fish. Number 7. The Snakehead Members of the Chanadai family, snakeheads got their name based on their elongated body shapes and the snake-like scales on their heads. They can be found in various regions on the African and Asian continents. Snakeheads have sharp teeth, large mouths, and long dorsal fins. The largest species can exceed 3 feet in length. Adults are thrust feeders and mainly prey on smaller fish. One of the most distinctive features that snakehead species share is the development of suprabranchial organs when they mature. These organs allow the fish to breathe in air through their gills and survive out of water for up to four days. As long as they move on a wet surface, snakeheads have been known to migrate on land for almost a quarter of a mile by wriggling their fins and bodies. This feature has caused the National Geographic publication to refer to the snakehead as fish National Geographic has also reported that snakeheads reach sexual maturity by the age of three. They mate around five times annually, with each female being able to release almost 15,000 eggs at once. There have also been occurrences of snakeheads as an invasive species. Once they are released in a foreign water system, they reproduce in large numbers, and without natural opposing competition for food, they often become apex predators, thus unbalancing the ecosystems they enter, willingly or unintentionally humans have been releasing snakeheads into non-indigenous waters for more than 100 years. Number 6. The Red Lionfish Although the red lionfish is mainly found in the coral reef regions of the Indo-Pacific, they are also found as an invasive species in the Caribbean Sea and along the U.S. East Coast. It is believed that they were initially introduced off Florida's region in the 1980s. They are considered an invasive species in these regions because they threaten the marine ecosystem by unbalancing the existing food chains, which can lead to the decline of certain fish population as well as a decline of coral reef areas. Adult red lionfish can grow up to 18.5 inches, making it the largest lionfish species in the ocean. The fish draws its name from the long venomous spines protruding out of its body, which resemble a lion's mane. Their red dorsal spines are venomous and mainly used as a defense mechanism. Although their sting is not typically fatal to human beings, those unfortunate enough to experience it will suffer side effects which include severe pain and possibly vomiting, breathing difficulties, and headaches. Number 5. Payara Hydraulicus gomboroides, also known as the payara or vampire fish, is a predatory fish endemic to the Amazon basin. It has the potential of reaching lengths of up to 3.8 feet and weights of almost 40 pounds. Because of the two fangs on its lower jaw, the payara has also been called the saber-toothed tigerfish. Its diet consists mostly of other smaller fish, which it impales using its long fangs. These sabers can grow as long as 4 to 6 inches and are capable of easily piercing through human and skin. The payara has been known to routinely consume piranhas, and this usually occurs because of the size difference between the two species. Their fearsome appearance has drawn the fascination of many people, some of whom choose to keep them as pets. Aggressive in temperament, the payara often grows larger than the tank it is kept in and should mostly be fed live food. Due to their highly predatory nature and their tendency to swim in fast-moving, turbulent water systems, the payara have had low survival rates in captivity. Number 4. The Goliath Tigerfish the Hydrocinus is a genus of fish commonly referred to as tigerfish because of their aggressive temperament and predatory behavior. Aside from overpowering and consuming other fish, members of the Hydrocinus genus have also been proven to be the only freshwater fish which attack birds in flight. They are mainly found in the African continent. In 1949, renowned angler L.J. McCormick stated that the tigerfish of Africa is the fiercest fish that swims. The largest member of the genus is the Hydrocinus Goliath Goliath, also known as the Goliath tigerfish or Banga. It is endemic to the Congo River Basin and Lake Tanganyika. The name Banga is associated with an evil spirit that, local legends claim, takes hold of the fish and forces it to attack people. Aside from its massive proportions of 6 feet in length and weight of almost 125 pounds, the Goliath tigerfish possesses powerful muscles and a broad tail, enabling even the most massive specimens to chase down almost any type of prey. One of its most 
distinctive features is the set of 32 long, razor-sharp teeth, which can easily pierce through human flesh. The hunting technique they employ is the result of many years of evolution, which have shaped them into dangerous predators. Dissections have uncovered that, internally, the Goliath tigerfish is equipped with an air sac that reacts to vibrations in the same way a drum does, which helps it detect nearby movement. While filming a documentary called River Monsters, British angler Jeremy Wade caught a massive Goliath tigerfish. It was five feet long and weighed over 100 pounds. Shortly after returning the fish back into the water, Wade shared his impressions after having been so close to the beast. The teeth on it are incredibly sharp and are about the same length as a great white shark. It also has an extremely powerful bite and has been known to consume prey the same size as itself, attack people, and take pieces out of crocodiles. Number 3. The Gonch Catfish also known as the giant devil catfish, is part of a genus of fish called Bagarius, which contains four other species. The gonch is the largest of the four, weighing over 200 pounds and reaching lengths of almost 6.6 .6 feet. Their physical characteristics are similar to those of other catfish species and include broad heads and mouths, wide gill openings, and fins which have filamentous extensions. They are mainly found in regions with fast-moving rivers in South and Southeast Asia. In recent years, the gonch catfish catfish has gathered a reputation as a man-eater, mainly due to several incidents which have occurred in areas along the Kali River, which flows between Nepal and India. After the fulfillment of Hindu burying rites, the locals disposed of the funeral pyres in the river. It is believed that the gonch catfish population had fed on the corpses, which had caused the fish to grow to considerable sizes. Aside from their unplanned growth spurt, the fish were also believed to have acquired a taste for human flesh. In April 1998, as teenager Dil Bahadur was swimming in the Kali River, he disappeared underwater. His girlfriend and a number of eyewitnesses stated that something had dragged the 17-year-old below surface level. Residents formed a search party and covered an area of 3.11 miles for three days. Still, Dil Bahadur's remains were never found. Three months after this attack, a young boy named Dharma Ghat was pulled underwater before his father's eyes. His body was never found. The most recent attack took place in 2007 in similar circumstances, this time the victim being an 18-year-old man from Nepal. Eyewitness reports describe that the victim had been dragged into the water by a large pig. In an effort to distinguish facts from what he believed were local legends, biologist Jeremy Wade offered to catch whatever was causing the attacks. Although skeptical at first, he was intrigued that all the attacks had happened in a four to five mile radius. Before embarking on the expedition, he had heard reports of a domestic water buffalo having been dragged below the water surface by some creature, even though the animal had only been drinking in a depth of about three feet. After a failed attempt of capturing the creature using a fishing rod, Wade used a funeral pyre in order to lure it in. Before long, a six foot long, 170 pound heavy gunch catfish was caught. It was three times heavier than the average gunch. Wade concluded that even larger specimens must have inhabited the river. Number 2. Pufferfish Pufferfish are commonly referred to as blowfish. This is mainly due to their ability to increase in size several times their normal proportions in order to intimidate predators. Their incredibly elastic stomachs enable them to quickly ingest a large amount of water and even air until they become a ball that makes it almost impossible for predators to consume them. In addition to this defense mechanism, some species also develop spines on their bodies, thus effectively preventing any possible ingestion. Most pufferfish species also contain a substance called tetrodotoxin. Although it is often lethal for any predators that consume the pufferfish in their non-inflated state, for human beings, tetrodotoxin is almost 1.200 times more deadly than cyanide. There is currently no known antidote to counter its effects. A single pufferfish has enough tetrodotoxin to kill 30 adult humans. Ironically, pufferfish meat is seen as a delicacy, known as fugu in Japan. A meal consisting of pufferfish meat is only prepared by experienced chefs who are aware of the dangers they and their customers face. However, there are a number of deaths recorded annually as a consequence of eating pufferfish. Biologists have identified over 120 species of pufferfish. Some of them have colors that blend with the environment, while others have patterns and markings that are an indication of their highly poisonous nature. Number 1. Stonefish 
The stonefish lives in the estuaries, rock or coral formations in the shallow coastal waters of the Indian and Pacific Oceans. It is a thick fish with small eyes, a large head, and a large mouth. Its skin has a bumpy texture and is often covered with lumps which are similar to warts. Because it is able to blend with the surrounding environment so well, the stonefish usually rests at the bottom, often completely motionless. It is mainly an ambush predator, capable of delivering a swift attack, swallowing its prey in 0.01 five seconds. The stonefish is widely considered to be the most venomous fish in the world. It secretes neurotoxins from the glands located at the base of its dorsal fin. Whenever the stonefish feels threatened, the sharp spines on its dorsal fin stick up, ready to inject a dose of its venom. A member of the Sinansia genus, the name stonefish is derived from the fish's ability to camouflage itself. Swimmers might not see it because of its stone-like color and accidentally step on it. The side effects of being stung by a stonefish include paralysis severe pain, and tissue necrosis. The more pressure applied to the fish, the more venom it delivers. The sting of a stonefish may lead to heart failure and even death, thus it should be treated as a medical emergency. Treatments include the administration of antivenom and applying heat to the affected area, which in some cases has reportedly destroyed the venom. Stonefish bites can also occur on the beach, as the fish has the ability of surviving for 24 hours outside of water. Two days after the incident, NBC News received the package Cho mailed earlier between the two shootings. It contained a written manifesto and digital recordings in which he expressed his hatred for the rich and likened himself to Jesus Christ. Portions of the manifesto were aired on TV, prompting criticism from various parties, 